In celebration of over 75 years of our government employees insurance company, or GEICO, I propose savings for everyone and political parties that are actual parties with K and, and presents. It's too bad nobody can hear me. Leading up to the 2008 Poinsettia Bowl, TCU coach Gary Patterson was eager to deflect some of the national attention away from his team. We're not here to be a bystander. We're not here. We didn't buy a ticket. You're the show. Let's go. He insisted that his 10 and 2 Horn Frogs were simply trying to win one more game. Everybody's got to be physical. Tackle legs. A game that would give his seniors an unprecedented 41 victories. A win that would most likely vault TCU back into the top 10 and a win that the entire country was eager to witness. As it turned out, the national attention was impossible to dodge as all eyes fell squarely on Qualcomm Stadium for the kickoff of Poinsettia Bowl number four. Unbeaten and ninth ranked Boise State got off to a quick start and took a 13 to nothing lead in the second quarter on a pair of field goals and an Ian Johnson touchdown run. Maybe there's Ian Johnson. Johnson running from the end zone. Touchdown, Boise State, and there is the record. He passes Marshall Fox for the most rushing touchdowns in WAC history, and Boise State's up 9-0. 11th-ranked TCU got back into the game, however, with 24 seconds left in the half on a 16-yard scoring run by Aaron Brown. The Horn Frogs trailed just 13-7 at intermission. The defenses took over in the third quarter until a 32-yard Ross Evans field goal pulled the Horn Frogs to within three at 13-10. Then, TCU made the game's biggest statement, driving 80 yards in 10 plays and taking its first lead midway through the fourth quarter. Played option play on third down. Dalton has the first down and the drive will stay alive. Played too much base defense and still kicks himself a bit for it. He's not going to be kicking himself for this call. Joseph Turner, touchdown TCU! Boise State answered with Kyle Brotsman's third field goal of the game, and the Broncos trailed by one point when they forced a TCU punt. From his own 17-yard line, Boise State's heralded freshman quarterback Kellen Moore would try to give the Bronco kicker a chance to win the game. But TCU safety Stephen Hodge intercepted Moore on the first play of the drive, nailing down the win and along with his 11 solo tackles, securing Hodge the defensive MVP honors. And TCU wins it. You think these two teams didn't want to prove a point? <laughs> Is that exciting? America was watching, and the San Diego County Credit Union Poinsettia Bowl gave them a great show.